Hello everyone. Welcome back to our classroom. In this lesson, we want to spend some time looking at how we multiply common fractions. And we have two simple objectives. One, we want to multiply a whole number by a fraction. And two, we want to multiply two fractions together. So first, let's ask ourselves a question. What do we mean when we say 5 times 3? What exactly are we talking about? 5 times 3. How do we understand that in our heads? Well, this is actually saying 5 threes. Or how much is 5 threes? Or how many are f when, you, when you add them up or when you count them up? 5 threes amount to how much? So let's make some threes. Here is one three, here is another three, one more three, one more three, and we need another one to make five. So these are five threes. This is a three, here's one more, here's another, here's another, here's another. One, two, three, four, five. And five threes, when you look at it, when we add them up, when we count them up, ends up being 15. So three plus three plus three, plus three, plus three, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. So how much is five of this? Five of this number, if this number three gives us 15. Now how can we apply this understanding of how we multiply whole numbers to how we multiply fractions? How much is three three quarters? Three times three over four is therefore asking, how much is three three quarters? Let's draw some diagrams. I'm going to draw a round thing and cut it in four. So each of these are quarters. Just assume for the purpose that they are equal. And here's another one. I need another one because we are talking about um, three. And we need three. Three quarters. So here's our third one. All right. Now, since we need three quarters, I'm going to go ahead and erase a part of this one because we don't need all of it. So that's our three quarter. That's our three quarter. And that's our three quarter. So three three quarters. And we need to add these up to decide how much we actually have. Three three quarters. Which is literally saying. 3 over 4 plus 3 over 4 plus 3 over 4. And as you look at it, you have 3 here plus 3 more, that's 6, plus 3 more, that's 9. And that tells you that we have 9 quarters. And that means from what we did in addition, we know that once the denominators are the same, we can go ahead and add our numerators. So we have 3 plus 3 plus 3 over 4, and that gives us 9 over 4. So 3 3 quarters are 9 quarters. And 9 quarters, this is, a, is an example of an improper fraction. We can further break this down, or we can simplify it and write it as a, a mixed number by asking ourselves how many 4s can we get out of 9? Well, we can get two fours. Two fours are eight. And then one will remain. And we can write that one over four. So three three quarters make nine quarters. And that nine quarters is the same as two and a quarter. That's two whole and a quarter. So what did we do then? Notice that we can get our nine by multiplying the whole number by the numerator. So whole number multiplied by the numerator. And therefore we see that 3 and 3 over 4 is the same thing as saying 3 times 3 over 4, which gives us our 9 over 4, which is 2 and a quarter. So when we're multiplying a whole number by a fraction, what we can do is simply take our whole number and multiply our numerator. 
Notice we only multiply the numerator. We do not touch the denominator at all. So what if it's a mixed number? What if you have a whole number times a mixed number, as in this case? Well, this is saying 2 times 1 and 2 thirds. So we need two of these. Now let's make two of these. Let's draw again here. I'm just going to make two circles there and then make two more here to round things. i um, going to cut this one in three. And I'm going to cut this one in three. No, just assume for the purpose that these are equal. And here we are. I'm going to erase this since I only need two of the thirds and not all three of them. There we go. And now you notice that we have here one and a third, one and two third, and one and two third. And now we need to add these together. Now, this one and this one, this is one, this is one, so, and here is our two third, and here is our two third. So we can add it up by saying one plus one plus two third plus another two thirds. And two, notice that these are the same denominator, so we can add that. One plus one is two. So we get two plus four over three. And four over three is the same thing. We can take, a, it's an improper fraction. We can take a three out of the four. Four over three is the same thing as one and a third. And now we can add our whole number plus this. And so our final answer would be 2 plus 1 and a third, which gives us 3 and a third. Now, how do we use this in terms of number? Well, we can multiply the 2 times the 1. 2 times 1 would be 2. And 2 times 2 would be 4. So we are literally saying 2 times this part, 2 times 1. And 2 times 2 over 3, which says 2 times 1 is 2. Here's the 2 that we got from there. And 2 times 2 here, when we're multiplying a whole number by a fraction, we multiply the numerator. That gives us 4 over 3. And here we can simplify this as we did there. And this gives us 2 plus 1 and a third. And here we go again, we get our 3 and our 1 over 3, 3 and a third. Let's look at it in a slightly different way to make it shorter. Now, another way to get the same result is to take this, this fraction, this mixed number that we have here, and change it into an improper fraction. So 2 times 1 and 2 third. Let's change this to an improper fraction. We do that by multiplying the denominator times the whole number, and then we add the, num the numerator. So 3 times 1 would be 3, plus 2 would be 5. So 2 times, remember, whole no the denominator times the whole number, that's 3 once 3 plus. So we go there, and then we add that. 3 once 3 plus 2, 5. And now we have 5 over 3. And now we are multiplying over 2 times 5 over 3, which gives us 2 fives 10, which is 10 over 3. And 10 over 3, which is a, an improper fraction, can be rewritten as asking ourselves, how many 3s can we get out of 10? Well, we can get 3 3s and 1 remainder, which is the same result that we got from drawing the diagrams or from multiplying it um, in pieces. So the shorter way to get the result when you are multiplying a whole number by a mixed number, which is a number and a fraction, is simply to change this mixed number to an improper fraction. You could do it with diagrams, as we did here. You could multiply it in pieces, as we did here. Or you could change this mixed number to an improper fraction and multiply it out. And in practice, doing it this way makes it work out a lot faster. So you probably, probably will like it this way.
Here we have two more questions. Find the total amount in each case. Here we have volume in liters, seven cups of milk, and each cup has a quarter each. So we have seven times a quarter. And here we have Kayla exercises for three quarter hours every day. What is the total time for a week? Well, a week is seven days. So seven times three over four. And as you remember, when you're multiplying a whole number by a fraction, just multiply the numerator, seven times one, that's seven over four. And we can rewrite this as one and three over four. And here we have seven times three. which is 21 over four. And we can further simplify this as how many fours can we get out of 21? We can get five and one remainder, in which case she would have exercised for five and a quarter hours. Now, how do we multiply a fraction by a fraction? How do we take a fraction and multiply it by a fraction? In general, when we are multiplying a fraction by a fraction, we multiply the numerators together and we multiply the denominators together. So look at this question here. These are our numerators and these are our denominators. So to simply multiply the fractions together, what we do is we say three times five multiplied by four times seven. And three fives, as you see there, are 15 and four sevens are 28, and this would be our answer. Now, sometimes our answers can be simplified. In this case, it can't, but sometimes they can. Let's look at this one. Here we have two times five, the numerator times the numerator, and the denominator times the denominator. Now, this would give us 10 over 24, which is fine and correct. However, look at it and you'll notice something, that this 2 can divide this 8. So 2 can divide itself 1 time and 2 can divide 8 4 times. That means we can simplify our answer and write it as 2 over 5 times 3 over 8, which is 10 over 24, becomes now 1 times 5, which is 5 over 3 times 4, which is 12. And these two, as you'd realize, are equivalent to each other. 10 over 24 and 5 over 12. Now, what if we have mixed numbers? If we have mixed numbers, then what we should do first in order to make the multiplication simple is to go ahead and change these mixed numbers to improper fractions. So remember how we change them to improper fractions? What we do is that we multiply our whole number times our denominator here, and then we add our, our, our numerator. So denominator times whole number, then add the numerator. So we have 2 times 5 here, plus 1. That gives us 11 over 2. And here we have 4 times 1, 4 plus 3. That's 7 over 4. And then we just go ahead and multiply. So 11 times 7 over 8, and that gives us 77 over 8. And you can always simplify that. And here, 4 once 4 plus 3 gives us 7 times 2 7 14 plus 1, 15. This is over 7, and this is over 4. And we can just go ahead and do our multiplication. 7 times 15 over 4 times 7. 7 5 is 35. Multiplying 7 by 15, that's 105. And 4 7s are 28. And again, this is an improper fraction, and you can always break it down and get a mixed number for your answer. That is if it's required. So this is how we go about multiplying fractions. Let's recall, let's recall very quickly. 
If you are multiplying a fraction by a whole number, we simply need to multiply our whole number times our numerator, and we get our result. If we are using a mixed number, then we need to change that mixed number to an improper fraction and multiply our numerator by the whole number. So here we have 313 plus 25 and multiply that by 2, 2, 5, 10, and we get our result. If we are multiplying two fractions together, then we go ahead and we multiply the numerators. So numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. Lastly, if we are multiplying mixed numbers, then we need to change the mixed numbers to improper fractions. So I probably should write that. Change the mixed numbers to improper fraction. And once you change them to improper fractions, you can go ahead and multiply your numerator times numerator and the denominator times denominator. That is how we multiply two fractions. You can find more past and practice papers on our website at ccmathtutor.com in our practice pages. And please remember to subscribe and share with someone as you continue to learn and grow. Thank you for watching.